11 players were cut from the Islanders training camp roster and sent to the Bridgeport Islanders. So let's look at those 11 players. Was there even a chance that they'd make the roster? And then let's take a look at the Bridgeport roster as it stands with those 11 players coming in and who we think will be added to that group. Do you see the subscribe button down there? Click that. Don't miss a video. Also, go to Twitter. Follow at TLO Mitch. That's me. Don't miss any breaking information about Islanders prospects I've yet to cover on the channel. So yesterday we found out that 11 players who went through waivers all passed. So 11 players were cut from the Islanders training camp roster, went through waivers, successfully cleared waivers, and were sent to the minors. So who were those 11 players? And did they even really have a chance at making the roster? So let's go through the list here. I've highlighted in blue who the defensemen are, in red who the forwards are, and in green who the goalie is. So for defensemen, just because that's the first one I see on the list here, Parker Wertherspoon, Mitch Van de Sample, Paul Ledoux, Grant Hutton. Any of those defensemen jump out at you that should have made the Islanders roster? No. I, not, not a single one. It's not to say that none of those are good defensemen. They're just not NHL caliber defensemen. They, they just aren't. Maybe you can say Mitch Van Dessalp and Parker Wertherspoon could be bottom six guys or, or bottom pair guys. Uh, but the Islanders already have bottom pair guys who are better than those two. So unfortunately, they're out. On another team, like a lower caliber team, maybe the Ottawa Senators or, or something of that sort, the Buffalo Sabres perhaps. Yeah, maybe. Maybe they'd have a shot. But when it comes to the Islanders who are competing for cups and have depth at every roster spot, there's no way. Uh, interesting, I've seen people say that Grant Hutton, they're surprised he wasn't claimed on waivers. Um, he's not th that fantastic. A again, like it's not to say he's not good, but he's not like a top four defenseman. Again, he's going to be maybe a bottom pair defenseman. Good right hand shut, maybe nice and say shut down guy, but like two way guy. Uh, but at this time of the year, teams already have the guys they want. Uh, and they're really boast, bolstering their, their AHL squads. And of course, he would be a good fit at the AHL level for any outfit. But clearly, there wasn't necessarily that big of a need for a right-handed defenseman. When you look at the forwards, you have Dmitry Timoshov, Otto Koivula, Simon Holmstrom, Austin Zarnik, Cole Barjo, and Angie, Andy Andreoff. Now, a little note here. It's not that 11 players went through waivers. Simon Holmstrom is on this list, but he is not waiver eligible. He's waiver exempt. So he actually didn't have to go through waivers. They just reassigned him to Bridgeport without really doing anything. I'm sure there's one piece of paperwork that they faxed in, uh, but that, that's it. That's all. They don't need to clear that through the league necessarily. So of those players, is there any shock here that any of those guys didn't make the team? Maybe Austin Zarnik, and I'm using shock very like lightly here. Um, he was at best going to be a 13th or 14th forward on this team. Uh, so the fact that he didn't make that cut you know, kind of is what it is when you've got a bunch of guys already. Ross Johnson is probably going to be there. Uh, you have Richard Ponick now. Anatoly Golishev is clearly getting a longer look. Um, so yeah, it, it doesn't, doesn't make sense to keep him around. He's a really good AHL player, which is exactly what the Bridgeport Islanders need. So that's the only name that I think is a shock here. I've seen some people say that why didn't anyone claim Otto Koivla? I'm sure he would have been claimed. Yeah, again, like good AHL player, not great NHL player. So if someone wanted to bolster their AHL squad, they may have picked him up. But a lot of teams have already figured that out, which is why the Islanders waited as long as they did to make this kind of a big cut. Um, a lot of you saw a lot of random names being plucked on the waiver wire. Uh, and so, like, everyone's kind of filled their boots, and now the Islanders were like, okay, cool, we can send our guys in. Uh, so, like, I'm not really too shocked that Otto Koivula did not get claimed by anyone. Again, good AHL player, but when it comes to the NHL, it's not really there. So there's something missing in his game, and it's just being a little bit more physical, being that more complete power forward. Um, I hope he works on that this year, because that's really, honestly, the only thing that's keeping him from even just a bottom six role at the NHL level. And then the one goalie sent down was Ken Appleby. No surprise there. Good, good AHL goalie, but not, not an NHL guy at all. And like the Islanders have Ilya Sorokin, Simeon Varlamov, and Corey Schneider to pick up the slack. They, Ken Appleby was always going to the AHL, so there's no surprise here. So now let's look at the Bridgeport Islanders roster in a whole time. As far as we know it now, there's a few names still not there that are still within the Islanders system that we expect to go down. Uh, but let's just look at it as it stands now. And honestly, if you go to the team's website, maybe by the time you watch this video, this won't be an issue. 
But if you go to, sorry, not the team's website, but if you go to the AHL website, the roster is blank. All you see is GM Chris Lamorello, coach Brent Thompson, and assistant coach, I'm going to get this wrong, Rick Kowalski. I'm glad Arthur Staple took pictures of the Bridgeport Islanders roster before the AHL took them away or something happened to their website because, again, there's nothing listed there at the time of recording. So he, uh, based on the picture he's got, there are 12 forwards on the roster. Kubiak, Holmstrom, Thompson, Durando, Adams, McLean, Newkirk, Terry, Jenkins, Brown, Koski, Bibo. I went through that quick because it's not really fun to sit there and listen to someone list off 12 names slowly like it's Ferris Bueller. 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 Um, so there's obviously a repeat there. Simon Holmstrom is there on this list and part of the 11 forwards that were, or sorry, forwards, players that were sent down to the minors most recently by the Islanders. So we're not going to count Simon Holmstrom twice. So that means we got 12 guys here. There are five other forwards cut, not including Simon Holmstrom. So we're now at 17 players. Now, when you look at the Islanders roster, there are 14 forwards under contract right now. And that does not count Zach Parise, Michael Dalcole, and Anatoly Golishev. That's 17 guys, assuming they're all signed and they they're most likely are. That's 17 guys signed to contracts. That's too many. Too many for the NHL squad. They have to cut that down probably to 14. So that means three other guys are going to go down to the AHL. Now we're at 20 players at the AHL level. Of course, that's obviously too many forwards. So there's going to be some cuts. Camp has already begun. So there's going to be cuts to that list of 20. So it's going to whittle down to, to I don't know exactly how many, probably 17 or something. Maybe they don't cut that many through a regular AHL season. They typically carry around 20, 25 players that have come and go and play games. So maybe this fits, but we're going to see there's probably going to be some cuts to some of those guys. On defense, again, thank you, Arthur Staple. There are three guys listed to, uh, to the roster. You have Seth Helgeson, Connor McCarthy, and Mike Cornell. Now, obviously, that's not too many. That's not enough. But we know that other guys were cut. Four guys were cut just recently. Like I said, Van Sample, Wortherspoon, uh, Hutton, and uh, Paul Ledoux. So now you're at seven. Okay, that, that makes sense. Seven guys, that's a full complement. But we're not counting three other guys that are probably going to come from the Islanders roster. Samuel Balzuk, Robin Salo, and probably Thomas Hickey. Now we're at 10 defensemen. That's a lot. Again, cuts are going to happen. There's going to be some guys moved off of that roster, either to the ECHL or just released from their contracts. So things to look for there. Now, finally, when you look at the goalies, there were two listed. Again, thank you, Arthur Staple. You had Luke Cohen and John Gillies at the AHL level. Now, we know that Ken Appleby is going down, and we also haven't yet seen what's going on with Jakob Skarik. So that's four goalies. Again, too many. Of course, they carry goalies throughout the year, back and forth through the ECHL, AHL, call-ups, so on and so forth. So having four guys at the end of the year who have played at least some games makes sense not necessarily to start the year now of course there's only one guy signed or on the roster at the Worcester level so I would imagine one of these guys at least one of them is going to go down and, and play in Worcester or you see kind of switch between the two maybe it's Luke Cohen and John Gillies flipping back and forth between the AHL and ECHL to get kind of game time kind of like what they did with Jakob Skar a couple of years back and Linus Soderstrom I tossed a lot of names at you and it's not to say that this is what's going to be the total roster when it comes to the Bridgeport Islanders next year. It's to say that there's still a lot to go through, right? There's still a lot of players to come down from the NHL level. And then to figure out, Brent Thompson and Rick Kowalski have to figure out which guys they want to keep to commence the AHL season. So we're still going to see a lot of roster moves either out completely or maybe down even another level to the ECHL. So still a lot of roster turnover to look for. But honestly, I'm really liking how this roster for the Bridgeport Islanders is shaking up. There's a lot of toughness, there's a lot of skill, and there's a lot of talent on this roster. I really like how things are shaking up, but let's just see how the final roster looks when the regular season opens later this month. Thank you for following, thank you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed yet, the button's down here. Click that button, and if you have, thank you, thank you, thank you.